<laughs> sorry, sorry. This game's just fine, Alex. Look at his run. He's got a limp like, oh, he's got a little limp. He does have a limp. He does. Oh, I... poor Alucard. Oh, man, he needed a cane. So, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the uh, 2D opus in the Castlevania series, came out on PlayStation, got ported to a whole bunch of different places. Way back when, they were going to make a version for the Tiger Gamecom, this bizarre handheld system that for some reason had ports of games like Resident Evil 2 and Fighters Mega Mix. They really tried to bring outsized games to this thing, and no other game exemplifies that better than Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Michelle Pamela Lyons, thank you for the three months, thank you. four months, no running, no diving, no petting, no balls. Yeah, let's let's shift away from from space balls and going through space corridors because what we're about to see is more grounded in reality. This was advertised. If you uh, bought an actual Gamecom like I did, it comes with a little catalog showing all of their current and upcoming games. They showed off a couple of Konami games in there, including Metal Gear Solid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night, each of which just seemed completely ludicrous. They showed a single screenshot from each, which I just assumed would be, you know, a mock-up. Just put some black and white pixels on a screen and you can just say, hey, it's Symphony of the Night. We're bringing it to the system. Mm -hmm. We're not actually going to do that. The system's a huge failure. No one would actually make Symphony of the Night for the Gamecom. No one would put any sort of time into that. Even, even as a joke, right? Oh, I need to turn this down. Oh, uh, yeah. And change the title name and uh, stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Look at that. Beautiful. It's real. I can't believe it, but it's actually real. And the now plain text... Is in the text file. Is in... Yeah, you're right. Castlevania Satin. So is it going to have uh, spoken words? I Do don't know. know. Yeah, that Duke Nukem game did have uh, speech in it, so maybe. <sighs> Damn, monster. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I have a, uh, a Joy to Key profile for this. I need to load up so I can have actual real yeah, life Danny controls Yeah, Danny went whole hog this. on this. I had to do so many workarounds to get this shit working. I had to go through emulators of emulators. I had to set up joy to key profiles, multiple ones. Thank you, Agent Sport, for the five-month resub. Welcome to the sub club and uh, enjoy whatever this is. I'm yeah, thank you I'm so afraid. much. So, if you want to play this, there's a uh, there's actually a leaked SDK emulator that uh, developers used to make Gamecom games from back in the day. This is on Hidden Palace. You can search Hidden Palace for Gamecom emulator. Once you get that. Uh, and you start it up, it'll say it's missing some files. Just copy those files over from the Frogger subfolder. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you should be able to boot. What you do is you go into the disassembler window, you load the bin file, you hit OK, and then you click load kernel, do the test kernel, then hit run, then hit the, the start game option on the Gamecom menu, and then you can finally play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's a very simple 22-step uh, process. Okay, pretty easy. So without any further ado... Here we go. Here we freaking go it has a password alex put in dracula <laughs> let's just let's okay. start the let's start the game <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm blowing you, out the mic you liking this a little bit the music is so good it's yeah so they funny. really replicated the music <laughs> Yeah, the music is so good. Can y'all hear it? It's so bloopy. Yeah, I've, I've got shot with Joker gas. Okay. They we... replicated every single note. Let me turn this up a little yeah. more. Yeah. That's that. That's how you kill Dracula. They don't do music well. They, it's This isn't perfectly emulated. This is going to look and sound differently than it would on an actual Gamecom. But uh, this is the best we're going to get. 
it's got all the text. They transpose that just fine. Yeah, this is human music by human people. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> music made by humans. Yep, this is basically that song that plays when you fight Dracula. Still not convinced this isn't a hoax. This music actually makes me think this is completely 100% a real game because this is so Gamecom music. If you played any other games, including games like Sonic Jam, which had like recognizable music, they just went and made their own tracks. They didn't care. Mm -hmm. And it sounded like this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This game's just or fine, Alex. Look at his run. He's got a limp like, oh, he's got a little limp. He does have a limp. He does. Oh, I... poor Alucard. Oh, man, he needed a cane. Well, you have your basic attack, including the thing where you, like, uh, diagonally go into the ground to open up various places. The weird thing here is the jump. So you hold the jump button and it does this. He has a really, really floaty jump. But if you try to do anything during that jump, it cuts it off early. Like, if you attack, he just sinks to the ground. Yeah, the music does remind me of Sonic Chronicles. Oh, yeah, that's kind of eerie. And look at this. This is a parallax scrolling background. So whoever made this, they, they had an intention of releasing this. This is so detailed and full of actual work. I'd say this is on par with something like Sonic Jam or Fighters Mega Mix easily. Uh. How's our volume balance? Do you want me to turn this down yet? Oh, uh, I think it's okay. I think I'll live. Do, 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 do. The creatures of the night. What beautiful music they make. And yeah, you like the dithering? I like the dithering. Yeah, I do too. Look how high you can jump. Even, it's just whenever you attack, it's it feels so bad. Symphony of the Night is known for its extremely fluid feeling controls, and this absolutely does not have that. Let us go out this evening for dithering. It's got level ups. There's something putrid about this that I can't put my words. My, my, I this can't is put very. Words. This is extremely putrid and extremely dank. I would describe this game as 100% dank. It's very dank. The dankest shit you ever played. go through here. Oh, it's already open, but you can't go through. Are there fishmen? Are there? I recently uh, played through this game on my Sardus channel, so I'm pretty... I have this game pretty well in mind. I played all the way through the Saturn version of Symphony of the Night. It was pretty fun. I beat Dracula with uh, Eric Lacard's spear, which is an exclusive weapon. And I did spend some time grinding on some fishmen, but mm -hmm. usually these things take one hit, considering you have Alucard's sword at the beginning, an extremely powerful sword. These no. guys take two or three hits, and it's hard to tell when you're even doing damage. So would you say this is harder than Symphony of the Night? So far, yes. Okay. In fact, um... I have this map to a button, right? Oh no, not that one. This one. Hey, a map. Look at this. It's got the full inventory screen and everything. Here you hear the famous inventory theme of Symphony of the Night. What if this came out and you were a kid who only had a Gamecom and this was the only version you played as Symphony of the Night? I would think this game sucked ass. <laughs> I would think they tried to do a little bit too much for the Gamecom. And I'd refuse to play any other version. I'd make really annoying threads about it, talking about how it's a hidden gem and how people who don't like it just don't understand games and Ooh, they're too old to understand it. That's a classic, yeah. Yeah. That's how you become an elite gamer. God, I need to become an elite gamer. I'm oh sick God, of being I'm in the water. The water doesn't hurt Alucard. That's, I think that's the least of our problems right now. He took swimming lessons. That's good. <laughs> Happy for him. He's not going to pee in the pool. <laughs> It's the worst running joke we've ever had. There we go. <laughs> we don't even have a p access to a pool. Yeah, they won't let us. 
We've apparently apparently become infamous in our community for peeing pools. <laughs> it's not true. It's just a terrible internet rumor. Pay no attention to the badge next to my Twitter name that says pool peer. <laughs> Yeah, when you click on the verified badges on Twitter now, some will say Twitter blue, some will say uh, important person, and the other one will say, uh, this motherfucker pissed in that pool. We're not doing a hot tub stream, even though I would love a hot tub stream. Can't believe I paid eight bucks for that shit. <laughs> so far, I'm still not notable. Uh, this is going to sound like a joke, but I'm legit verified on Twitter like the yeah. old fashioned way. I didn't pay for shit. So if you see that check mark next to my name, it's because I'm a notable public figure. Yeah, Danny not because I paid eight bucks for Elon Musk's uh, bullshit. Yeah, Danny doesn't pay money for that. I don't Danny's pay for nothing. Normal. That's not gonna last long though. They're gonna take away my badge. They're gonna claim I'm not notable. They're gonna make your like replies go to junk mail or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Still befriending mortals. Mortals are nice. Get over yourself, death. That's really what Symphony of the Night is about. Figuring out that mortals actually aren't all bad. Mm -hmm. Alucard's mom, she was cool. Yeah! Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I watched Danny beat us. <laughs> don't, don't block me. You have to click the badge next to my name to figure out I am an actual <laughs> verified user. <laughs> and not just some guy being all like, Duh, I'm Valve. Uh, fucking piss. So far, that's what people have been doing with it. It's going to be fun to watch this video archive in the future, being all like, wow, they didn't even know that Twitter would collapse within the next 48 hours. <laughs> and I'll be like, no, I knew. <laughs> I, I had an idea. <laughs> he has two different... Wait a minute. Why does he have two different jump punches? That doesn't make sense. I have seen so there's some uh, places that I didn't see entrances to like uh, the big boulder room with all the fishmen there's usually a spot in the roof where you can get out I guess they didn't do that so maybe this isn't a one-for-one -one recreation of the castle oh it's really not they skipped an entire area <laughs> they're just like no that's fine. we're not doing that part no oh yeah I forget I I had a shield at one point but not now <laughs> the UG just kills me. Because <laughs> these are skeletons. Skeletons like, oof! Ooh, ouchie, they say. Oh, that hurts me in the bone! A basilard, fuck yeah. That's an actual good weapon. Y'all like this music? Do you like the boobs? I'm jamming. What was that voice? That voice was me being upset at this music. I mean, me loving this music and listening to it and thinking it's gorgeous and beautiful and perfect. This is, it's all of those things. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's perfect. I am not being slowly driven mad by the music. What do you think? I think that's better than what we're listening to. The music is not valid. Take that back. What's this? Cheeto? Oh. Let's put that on. I just... They put in the equipment. That's not something I would have expected them to put in. Considering their uh, port of Resident Evil 2. Which was still impressive in some ways, but also very much cut down, as you'd expect. <laughs> oh, you can just go through here? That's cool. Yeah, let's show Pancake. This is what it sounds like when you play a skeleton drips like a xylophone. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> wow, they recorded it from an actual skeleton playing his own bones. Got that authentic skeleton marimba soundtrack. I'm rich. Is there even a shop in this? Is there? I keep collecting hearts, but there's no, um... Well, there you go. <laughs> I was just about to complain, but... <laughs> Looks great. No, no, no notes. This is ready for retail. Kids in 1997 are gonna love this.
So I mentioned before, just like the Sacred Pools, people have tried and failed to play this to completion. We don't currently know if this is completable or how much content is there, or if it just stops at a certain point. We just don't know. People have tried, and given the game is so difficult to play, they just literally cannot <laughs> get good enough at it to figure out how much content there is. Now you might say, the emulator uses save states, how hard can it be? You try to save state this game, it crashes. What? Yeah. No, really? Oh, that sucks. Hey, you got a, a cloth tunic. Nice. Cool. Cool. Got a tunic now. What's that tunic like? Is it nice? Yeah, it feels good. Okay. It's a little scratchy. You know, old garments, they're just always scratchy. Oh. Now there's one thing that's been missing from this game so far. Can anyone tell me what that major, incredibly important thing is? I've noticed it, and I'm starting to get really concerned about it. Music? That's, that is concerning. I, I continue to be concerned about that, but um... Backdash. There's no backdash, there is that. Color? That seems pretty obvious in retrospect. <laughs> what I'm worried about is, where's the fucking save rooms? Where do you recover your health? How do you... how do you do anything? Are there save rooms at all? It does have experience, believe it or not. <laughs> That's not something you would expect it to have, and yet it does. Whoa! Whoa! It oh just yeah, because you... it has a password system! It just gives you a double jump here? Hey, your double jump? It's shit. It looks... <laughs> it looks like the game is crashing and spilling out a bunch of junk pixels when you jump. I love it. Notice I've been taking consistent damage. Uh, the enemies luckily don't do much damage, but there kind of isn't any potions or save rooms. Now, normally this is a save room in the final game, so I'm hoping this is the first one we see. Thank fuck. Okay. I think it's going to give you a password. Yep. All right, there it is. The password is meet TP uh, stick meet GPQ. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and print screen that. <laughs> Just in case. Meet TP. Meet TP. It also did restore our health, which I was very worried that it wouldn't do. So this is suddenly seeming a lot more completable to me. Yeah, I took a screen grab of that. All right, we're safe. Progress saved. Boy, this looks like crap. I was gonna say this. This looks like crap, and the music is depressing me. You saying this is depressing? This one channel, one note <laughs> soundtrack. Yeah, you had to use your imagination for some of the password characters. Yeah. I'm not sure what all that was. What's this? The hell is that? Axe. Oh. Morning Star. Is that good? Let's find out. It is. It's very good. Oh, good. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, man. Are you double dueling? We can double duel. Okay. But to what end? Here's this weapon, and here's the other weapon. See? Look how different they are. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where Slogger and Gaibon are. Let's see what they look like. Excited. Oh. I'm just gonna limp my way over here. Oh, I love them! They're oh man, pokey buddies. Guybon, Guybon does not want. <laughs> okay, he's that he's, was nice. He didn't want to be a part of that battle. Uh, Slogra is more into it, or is this Guybon? That's like a cartoon whipping noise, it's killing me. It's going into him but disappearing. I don't know if it's having any effect. <gasps> Is it? Oh, he's, he made a, a face. Is, Is he? Hey. That was... Oh, he only, he only got the one form in this. Life max up. Making progress. You're doing good. 
I'm just gonna fall through the floor and get sucked out into space at any moment here. Some guy at the bar is gonna slap me and throw me out into space. I'm just assuming the two games are linked. I've made more progress in this than I expected. Sorry, this... I'm fine. It's a jam. Crazy bus jams. I was gonna say, do I think this is a jam? Have I have I been playing too many? Am I am I Stockholm Stockholm syndrome with the music? <laughs> you could be. I'm loving this. Are you? Yeah. I can't believe this actually got found and dumped. That it's actually real for one thing, and the fact that who found it uh, was a person who was willing to share it with everyone. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you very much for sharing this. I'm I'm goofing on the game, but I'm really glad it's preserved for people to to experience and stuff. All right, our next password is meat candle meat s meat bible meat y. <laughs> Meat Bible, meet why? Meat Bible, meet why? <laughs> okay, the music's starting to get to me too. <laughs> oh, thank God. But we're still gonna have to play this. It's our gamer duty. Where are we in the map? We're about to get to the next area. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop boop <laughs> I'm so glad that this is reality, that this wasn't just a single mocked up screen. That someone actually went and programmed this thing, and as bad as it seems, it's no worse than any existing released GameCom game. In fact, I'd say it's one of the more playable ones. Yeah, I was going to say, for a GameCom game, this actually doesn't seem like the shittiest. It's no Batman and Robin. It's no Fighters Mega Mix. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, ever see that on Gamecom? That's some shit. You know, sh yeah, shout out, shout out to the Gamecom prototype community for releasing so much stuff, even though... <laughs> Congrats on your first release. <laughs> Are there more? I hope to find out. Congrats on the uh, Gamecom prototype community for newly existing. We love you. Thank you for releasing games. Oh yeah, the ghosting on the GameCom screen would have really made this look weird. Yeah, this is why it's so slow to begin with, because there's incredible ghosting on the original system. Okay, Shan, yeah, 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 yeah. The music does sound like a fucking ringtone from the early 2000s. That oh, it does. Got, like, yeah, God. GameCom community, rise up. Now's your time. Start a convention, GameCom Con. Twitter's collapsing. Make the next social media network on the GameCom. Why it has, not? It has media support, or rather, uh, internet modem support. Oh, yeah, yeah modem. you can check your email on it, so you can basically run Mastodon. I'm still waiting for fucking co-host to approve me. I've been I, in the waiting queue for like five days. I haven't even signed up with that. But but also like sixteen thousand people are currently yeah. waiting to be. So you know. I like having a stream that can instantly be dated. This is after the uh, inevitable Twitter collapse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a real uh, historic document in the future. Next week we're gonna be steampunk because we have to live without social media. And we're gonna be driven insane. <laughs> we're gonna be like the uh, the biker gang that invades the mall in uh, Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> that's that's what I'm looking forward to in the post social media world. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad that I I in, uh, over the past five years I stopped being on Twitter as much and decided to get into uh, going outside and going to the park and stuff like that. You touched grass. I did, literally. It's so good. I love touching grass. They have the a la carte shield down here for some reason. Is that... I guess just having a shield will be better than not having a shield. Mm -hmm. Isn't the broadsword a two-hander, though? I think you fucked up. Here's our Alucard shield. 
They blocked off the save room? That's not a good sign. That's a terrible sign, in fact. It's fine. You don't need a save room. I guess not. Gah. It feels so hard to make these jumps. It is a Herculean effort just to get off the ground. You think they're gonna have the uh, Maria conversation up here? God, I hope so. Let me put. Sorry, I I've been cheating and I took my headphone out. Let me hey. Back in. Sorry. You're not getting the full experience. Okay, here we go. Time to be driven mad again. Hey, look hey. at that. Maria's in here. Hold up. It just gave us the silver ring, didn't it? That's one of two items you need to get the true ending. And normally that's way better hidden. Alucard. I turned down the game volume just a little bit oh, as a treat. Good. Not for you. Oh. That's fair. Oh, it's it's louder for me now. Thank you. All right, I turned it down for us too. So this does seem to be a truncated version of Symphony of the Night because it gives you one of the two rings right where you use the two rings. And it doesn't seem like there's a, an entry in the ceiling. So this had scope. They weren't just planning to port over the whole game. Much like Resident Evil 2, this was just going to be a, a bastardized version of a game everyone knows and loves. So the next thing here is to fight the doppelganger, I think. I'm kind of fascinated by what was included in this very as a, as opposed to what they left out. An entire entryway area. But other than that, it seems pretty complete. Oh, this is our second game. We played the Sacred Pools earlier and it was uh Oh man, the Sacred Pools was amazing. Kind it of was you're playing it now. It was way more incomprehensible than I could have ever hoped, and I've played so many incomprehensible FMV games. Yeah, and they really did try with these graphics. Like Yeah. As dopey as the dithering is, it's really working for what they're trying to accomplish. Hello? Fine. Is it? Is this the final boss? Oh. You got him. You know, Sonic Frontiers is out now. There's a brand new Sonic game. I tend to like playing those. Do I you? I could be playing that. I could be playing Fortnite. You could be playing Fortnite. That's true. I could be playing more sacred pools. You could we, could, we could all be playing different things. Ooh, is the underground open already? That's kind of different. <laughs> That's how you use the watch. I'm gonna skip the underground for now. Or you know what? Let's let's go ahead and see the underground. We're sequence breaking technically. Yeah, what I need to do is I need to get one of those 12 foot tall skeletons from Home Depot and then put in like literal xylophones on the ribs so I can actually have a skeleton's ribs that I play like a xylophone. This led nowhere. This may not be the uh, entrance to the underground now that I think about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is everything okay? Yeah, we're okay. I didn't... Uh-oh. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not okay. Maybe we're really not okay. Oh, no. It oh, happens. Alex. Huh? <gasps> a miracle. You are such a good gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alex over here breathing a sigh of relief thinking the game has been frozen, but no... There is yet more Symphony of the Night. That's also why I wanted to put more time into Sacred Pools tonight than uh, Symphony of the Night. Just because this game's presentation is um, taxing on the senses. What was that? Yo! Um. Enemy from later in the game. That's the Tin Man. He's just there for no reason. He's, he's there to annoy you. Random pot roast. Oh, 
I was hoping it was a motorcycle too. I was hoping there was a crossover with Castlevania 64. I just... After, honestly, as much as I wanted the game to freezer, I'm also just, you're, you're game. I'm impressed by how, how you keep going past these, like, impassable hurdles in these unreleased games. So. It's only because I'm familiar with the source material so much. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten stuck if I'd never played this game before. I'm just pushing the limits to see what's possible in this and what they included versus what they didn't. It's, they could have easily just made, like, a five-minute bullshit demo for E3 or whatever. No one would have checked. No one would have gone into the ROM to see how much work they did. You like my music? Do you like do you like do 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 do? It's very good. Reminds me of the soothing tones of Crazy Bus. Oh, I'm close to dying, ain't I? Let's use a pot roast. Delicious. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -boop. Pot roast. Pot that roast? seems to have helped. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did heal. Weird. I think we'll see a speedrunning community form around this game in about a year. I hope with, so. With the collapse of Twitter, I mean, people are gonna not going to have anything else to do. Yeah, you got to do something. Might as well take up uh, <laughs> bizarre hobbies. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I got into Fortnite, so, you know, live your dream. Live your dream of getting into Fortnite. It's or not too late. Or get into Castlevania Symphony of the Night game comp. It's your choice. You're the gamer. Mm -hmm. I hear it's the year of the gamer. It really is the year of the gamer if you think about it. Was there Sonic Jam at a GDQ? That kicks ass. I didn't know you could finish that. <laughs> All these games basically fall in the same category as those weird Famicom bootleg games where it, they could be completable, but they're probably going to crash before the end. Mm -hmm. But no one knows for sure because, you know, they're impossible to play. All right, save room here. Good. This game is so dank. Meat. Stick. HD. Meat. VHG. This is one of the danker games we've played, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it's so dank, it feels like a swamp. <laughs> this isn't the dankest, though. I'd say Death Crimson is danker than this. A little bit. This had some prestige. So this is where the uh, doppelganger is. There he is. I think I've devised a strategy. Hey, this seems to work. Oh! I'm getting levels just by hitting him. Cool. He he exploded into guts. Cool. Turkey. Oh, you're getting fed. Oh, there's a cape over there. I want it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It should say turkey when you get a turkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should have had uh, Alucard's voice actor voice all the items you, as you use them. Or, to get on the Pokemon craze, they could have just had uh, Alucard say his name over and over again. Why didn't they do that? Alucard. Alucard. Oh, you don't like the double jump? You don't like when, uh... It feels so fucking bad. The double jump... The double jump is so satisfying in the original. It just feels like dog shit here. Hey, we did get a vegetarian password. Yeah. Do you think that affects his stats? If he restores uh, in vegetarian status? Yeah, yeah. It uses up less of a carbon footprint. Hmm. <laughs> Beyond password. Where to go from here? I guess I want to see if the uh, librarian's here. Mm. That would be a pretty major thing to leave out of the game if there's no librarian. Also seeing a lack of enemies at this point, so maybe they 
stopped work. The long library. Oh no, there's there's those damn ectoplasms or whatever. <laughs> Playing through this better or worse than Super Mario Brothers Special. It's God. it's torture no matter which one you, you pick. But I think. Oh, it's hard to say. So far, I'd prefer playing through this, believe it or not. This is just a little bit more playable than Super Mario Bros. Special. All oh, right, you can jump through some of the platforms, but not consistently? That's so weird! <sighs> ah. Ah, what are you doing here? Hi. That's an enemy from another area. I kind of thought it just wasn't in the game at all. I'm sorry, the Hanna-Barbera sound effects when you do that is so delightful. <gasps> it's got attack canceling! Oh, fuck! Never mind, this is sick. Okay. Normally your attack is like this, you can only attack this fast, but if you duck an attack and then stand up quickly, you can cancel your attack and do two in a quick succession. Oh, nice. There's Folks, the tech. yeah, Danny's learning the tech. There's the tech for you speedrunners. Y'all pay attention to them. Does the shield make you invincible? That's cool. Let's just leave this shit out. I kind of wish there was different soundtracks for each area. Instead of just being this one song. Yeah, I'd like that. This could be tough. Yes! Oof. That was good. Fuck, it's a giant book! Run! <laughs> it's dithered! You were invisible! Invincible, I should say. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> All that for the Alucard mail. Is that even an improvement over what I have? I don't think it is. Let's, uh, let's find out. It's a little bit of an improvement. Yeah, it's like by one or two. <clears throat> but where do we go from here? It looks like that was the end of it. Does the library just end with the a la carte mail? Of all things to adapt, did they adapt the possibility of becoming a la carte in this? Alex, do you know what I'm talking about? It's when you get all the Alucard armor and I forget what happens. It's Yeah, it's like a bunch of joke items. Okay. Instead of the Alucard equipment, it's the Alucard. And it's basically just a series of fakes that you'd find at like uh, the flea market. Cool. We need to go to the flea market. When's the last time you've been to a flea market? Oh, too long. Yeah. Too long ago. I want to see what bootleg video game stuff they have now at like flea market. Oh, their bootleg game is probably insane at this point. God. Like Famiclones on, like, credit cards. Yeah, I've, there have been so many good Famiclones out there. Shout out to bootleggers. Ironically, bootleggers were the ones to invent flying cars. They're also flam Famiclones. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took. So the librarian should be here? My god. We found him. Nice. Oh, it's you, Master. Do you get a book from the librarian? I forget. Not in this game. Bullshit! You want you want Bloodstained. That's a game where you can check out library books for stat boosts. Really? Yeah. You're, you're not joking. Really? No, I'm not joking. That's for real. <laughs> that rules. I actually want to play. So you get to be like the meme where it's like, where do you work out? The library? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can like uh, cook in that game and it does uh, permanent stat boosts. Bloodstain's kind of sick. It doesn't appear you can buy from the merchant, which is a little bit of a problem because you need the Jewel of Open, which opens up the underground area, which didn't even seem to be accessible now that I think about it. So where does this end? Can you go down his, his little... Hidey hole? Yeah, his little hidey hole. Doesn't look like you can. Bull! Bull! So if I were to guess, this probably ends something somewhere at the top of the outer wall when, you, uh, when you're about to go into the clock tower. Mm. If this thing were to have an ending point, that's where I predict it would be. 
but I don't know for sure, and I can't save my state. But I do have a password. I have a password, but not the willingness to play more of this. Is that yeah. a problem? <laughs> that could be a problem. Oh, shit! We made it into the... Never mind, we made it into the back library. Let's see what's back here. Maybe we can get the bat familiar or uh, transformation. Bat, bat, bat. Do, 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 do. Write that down. Okay. Meet QXS. So. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. That's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> So many questions raised by this. Why? How? I guess we know when. Mm -hmm. We know the what. Yeah, this is it. This is the what. Should be a boss here. God, you're right that this has the feel of a Famicom bootleg. Just the music and the pokey way. It's you... so, it's like patched together, you know? Yeah. Yeah, here's the boss. All the things to put in the prototype, not uh, not a shop system, not an interactive librarian, but do put in the boss in the back of the library. Hang on, guys, I'm going to be here for a while. Alright. Totally something you'd find in a flea market. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they found this prototype in the flea market. I guess we're about to find out if they included the transformations. Wait, can I even get to this without the mist? Can you? We're gonna find out in literally seconds. You know, I'm talking shit on this game, but this is really impressive. I'm getting into it, yeah. I'm just into the fact that it exists at all. Oh, I forgot to let him summon a oh, mud man. This playthrough is ruined. The, the Godness shield? Yeah. Godness. The Godness. Oh my Godness. <laughs> I was beaten to it by chat, thank you. Soul of Bat. Oh my god, You're Alex. Huge! Alex. This is fucked. This is fucked that they, that they would go this far. It is, right? To replicate the game, to have the different transformations in there. What the hell? It uses up your magic super fast, but... Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more of this. It could be completable to an extent. There's no telling at this point. Look at that. That bat is dithered to shit. How close are you to beating this? Like, Oh, I have no idea. This is something like 30% of the way through a, a Castle 1 playthrough. Okay, fair, fair. The Godness Shield. The Godness Shield? I'll, I'll be damned. I'm going to take a shit, shit cake in one hand and a Goddess Shield in the other. Oh yeah, now we're living. Use it. I used it. Nice. Alucard ate the shit cake. Damn me. Yes, this is a, astonishingly enough Symphony of the Night on the GameCom. They they really pieced something together. They did. Well, this is where you uh, explore the castle to see various new places you can get to with the bat form. I guess um, you normally do need the mist to get the bat, right? So I guess they just left out the mist. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But there is the bat, and I presume that there is the wolf in here, too? Could be. If you want to find out, if you want to be one of the first people to explore Symphony of the Night in the in the days before it's been fully data mined, now's your time to do it. You can be literally a, a brave explorer of gaming. You can forge new uh, frontiers, destinies, mm -hmm. whatever. I'm not listening to a single second more of this music. You, you can't make me. <laughs> I feel better. They made Symphony of the Night on Gamecom, and it's fairly complete for what it is. It's complete to the extent that I played it for an hour, and I still have no idea how much content there is in there. But uh, for you brave gamers out there who are brave <laughs> enough to work with passwords, who can uh, live without save states, 
who can live with the worst controlling a la carte of all time, now is your time to shine. Go play Gamecom Symphony of the Night and report back to me. And uh, mute the music for your own sake. Yeah, for, for your own sake, mute the music. <laughs>